Hi, my name is Leslie Gomez, and I'm a nurse practitioner with the UC San Diego Otolaryngology Department. Welcome to your nasal saline rinse tutorial. We prefer the sinus rinse squeeze bottle over the teapot style because it's a little easier to control and the best way to reach your higher sinuses, especially if you're applying medications to your rinses. Before you begin, wash your hands and make sure you're in a clean area. These materials are all over the counter, so no prescriptions needed. You'll want to have boiled or distilled water to avoid any possible contamination. Start by filling up your rinse bottle to the line indicated. Add in your saline salt packet to the rinse bottle, which helps match the natural salt content of your nose. This will not increase your overall salt intake. You could also make your own at home by using the recipe shown. Put on the lid and shake gently to dissolve. If your provider instructed you to add any medications to your rinses, add it in now along with the salt packet. Tilt your head downward and insert the end of the bottle into one nostril pointing slightly towards the back of your head like this. Lean as far forward as you can. This angle helps get the rinses into all of your sinuses most effectively and prevents the water from entering your throat. Some people get the sensation that the water is entering in their ears. This is not dangerous and will pass by itself, so don't worry if it happens. You can prevent this by making a K sound like K, K, K while doing your rinses, which helps block the ears from the water by raising the soft palate. Let's put it together. Lean forward with your chin down, insert the nozzle into one nostril, make your K sound, squeeze gently and let it go. About half the water should go through one side and about half through the other until you use the whole bottle. Some of it might come out of your mouth, which is normal. Just spit it out. Let me show you how that works. You can fine tune the exact angle that works for you. Don't worry if it doesn't feel like 100% of the water got out immediately. It will make its way out and it won't cause any harm. Tilt your head around to help the rest of the water drain out all the way. You can blow your nose gently unless you were instructed specifically not to, such as after surgery. Rinse out your bottle completely when you're done and let it dry all the way. You can wash the bottle in the top rack of the dishwasher about every week or so. Change it out for a new one every three months or if it ever shows any cracks or moldy growth. Thank you very much.